higher order derivatives. So, let's say, meron tayong function, di ba, yung y is equal to f of x, no? So, kapag derivatives natin siya ng isang beses, uh, ang basa natin sa kanya ay dy over dx. Pero, paano kapag dinifferentiate natin ulit yun? So, dun papasok yung order ng derivatives. So, pag sinabing order ng derivatives, kung ilang beses mo siya dinifferentiate, yun yung order niya. Let's say, apat na beses mong dinifferentiate yung isang function, so, ang order niya ay fourth order, no? Okay. So, dito sa examples, uh, papakita natin kung paano sasagutan yung order, high, higher order of derivatives. Example number one, find the fourth derivative of the function f of x is equal to 4x raised to 4 plus 3x squared minus 4. So, hanapin natin yung fourth derivative nito. So, derivative nito, f prime of x is equal to 4 times derivative ng x raised to 4 ay 4x cubed plus 3 times derivative ng x squared which is 2x minus the derivative ng 4 ay 0. So, next, second derivative f second prime of x so yung 4 ita times muna natin dito sa coefficient ng 4x cube so 16 tsaka natin i-derive yung x cube so derivative ng x cube ay 3x squared so plus so 3 times 2 6 derivative ng x ay 1 okay so third derivative nito 16 times 3 muna so magiging 48 yan so, derivative ng x squared ay 2x. So, derivative ng 6 ay 0. So, hanapin natin yung fourth derivative, no? So, yung fourth derivative nito. So, yung 48 times mo muna sa 2, magiging 96 yan, di ba? Then, yung derivative ng x ay 1. So, ang fourth derivative ng function ay... 96. Okay? So, ito yung final answer natin sa example number 1. Example number 2, find the third derivative of y is equal to 1 over x. So, paano naman yan? So, hanapin muna natin yung first derivative ng 1 over x. So, y prime is equal to derivative of 1 over x. So, yung constant natin dyan, itong 1, ang function natin ay yung x no. So, natandaan yung derivative ng constant over a function. So, ang derivative niya na yung negative constant times dv over dx all over b squared no. So, ang constant na dito ito yung 1. Ang function natin dito ay yung x. Tapos, ang derivative ng x ay 1 no. Tsaka natin input dito sa formula natin. So, ano yung magiging first derivative natin? So, negative constant negative 1 times dv over d, dx which is 1 all over so v squared, square ng x ay x squared so ang first derivative natin ay negative 1 over x squared so hanapin naman natin yung second derivative nito so ang second derivative nito ay derivative ng negative 1 over x squared so ang constant natin dyan ito Tapos ang function natin ay x squared. So, ang formula ulit natin ay negative constant times dv over dx over v squared. So, ang constant natin dyan ay negative 1. Ang function natin ay yung x squared. Ang derivative ng x squared ay 2x. Tsaka natin substitute ito dito sa formula. So, ang second derivative ay negative constant. So, negative times negative 1. Diba? Times dv over dx which is 2x all over. So, yung v squared natin, square natin yung x squared. Square ng x squared ay x raised to 4. So, ang second derivative natin ay positive 1 times 2x, no? So, 2x over x raised to 4. So, makakancel yung x. Mababawasan ng isa. Magiging 2 over x cubed. So, iyan ang second derivative natin. So, paano naman yung third derivative? So, ganun ulit. So, yung third derivative natin, derivative natin yung 2 over x cubed. So, ito yung constant. Ito yung uh, function sa baba. So, ang formula ulit yan, negative constant times dv over dx 
all over b squared. So, ang constant natin dyan, positive 2, ang function natin ay x cubed. Derivative ng x cubed ay 3x squared. Okay? So, tsaka natin i-substitute ulit dito sa formula na ito. So, yung third derivative ay negative constant. So, negative 2 times dv over dx which is 3x squared. All over, so yung v squared natin, square natin yung x cubed. Square ng x cubed ay x raised to 6. So, negative 2 times 3, negative 6, x squared, all over x raised to 6. So, common factor yung x squared, tsaka yung mababawasan dito yung dalawa. So, mga cancel yan. Mababawasan ng dalawa. Ang magiging final answer natin ay negative 6 over x raised to 4. Okay, third example, find the second derivative of y is equal to x cubed times sin x. So, yung second derivative nito, no? So, yung first derivative, uh, dy over dx. So, y prime or dy over dx, pwede natin gamitin, no? So, dy over dx is equal to, so, product ng dalawang function. So, u dv plus v du. So, ang u natin ay x cubed, ito ay sin x. So, ang u natin ay x cubed, derivative ng x cubed ay 3x squared. Ang v natin ay sin x. Ang derivative ng sin x ay cosin x. So, i-substitute natin dito sa formula. So, dy over dx is equal to, so u x cubed times dv which is cosin x plus so yung v natin ay sin x tapos ang derivative ng x cubed ay 3x squared no okay so ano yung first derivative natin ang first derivative natin ay x cubed cosin x plus 3x squared times sin x so ang nire-require natin ay second derivative ng function na ito so, para makuha natin yung second derivative, so, mangyari dyan, second order na ito, is equal to derivative ng buong x cubed cosine x plus 3x squared sin x, no? So, ito yung second derivative nyan. Mapapansin nyo, uh, magkakaroon kayo ng dalawang product rule, no? Kasi ito yung unang product rule natin, u at saka yung v, ito yung pangalawa. Okay? So, sa una, ang u natin dyan ay x cubed. So, ang derivative ng u natin ay 3x squared. Tapos, ang v natin dyan ay cosine x. So, derivative ng cosine x ay negative sine x. Okay? So, next, dito. So, ang u natin dito ay 3x squared. Ang du natin dyan ay 6x. Tama ba? Okay. So, ang v natin ay sin x. Ito. Ang derivative natin dyan ay cosine x. So, magkakaroon nga tayo dito ng dalawang product rule, no? Sa second derivative. So, second order of derivative is equal to u dv plus v du. Para dito yan, ha? Plus, ito u dv plus v du. Okay? Ito. So, substitute natin. So, unang u natin yung x cubed, di ba? x cubed times dv which is negative sin x plus so yung v natin dito ay cosin x times du which is 3x squared na. No? So, plus so, yung unang, uh, pangalawang u natin ay 3x squared times yung dv natin which is cosine x plus yung v natin ay sin x times du which is 6x. Okay? So, kuha tayo ng mas malinis na papel. So, anong next natin na gagawin dito? Uh, multiply muna natin yung mga variables natin no, sa mga trigonometric functions x cubed times negative sin x ay negative x cubed sin x 
plus, so 3x squared cosine x plus 3x squared cosine x plus yung 6x times natin sa sine x. So, kung mapapansin nyo, meron tayong common term dyan, itong x squared cosine x, tsaka x squared cosine x. So, since common term sila, pag a din natin ito, coefficient nila. So, kopihin muna natin yung walang kapareho. Negative x cubed sin x. Okay. Plus. So, 3 plus 3, 6 x squared cosine x. Tapos yung panghuli, 6 x sin x. So, ito yung second order ng function natin. No? Na x cubed times sin x. Next example, find the, the third derivative of y is equal to square root of 2x. So, hanapin daw natin yung third derivative ng function na ito. So, first derivative, y prime is equal to derivative of square root of 2x. So, natandaan nyo yung derivative ng square root ng function. So, ang derivative niyan ay du over 2 times square root of u. So, ang u natin dito ay 2x, tapos ang du nyan ay 2, ba? So, du over 2 square root of u, so ang du natin ay 2, ty, ay all over 2 times square root of 2x. So, since ang common factor nila ay 2, mag-cancel yung numerator sa denominator, so, ang first derivative natin ay 1 over square root of 2x. So, ang first derivative natin ay 1 over square root of 2x. Take note, lagi nyo tong tatandaan, no, yung derivative ng square root of 2x. Okay? So, ang hinahanap natin ay third derivative. Nasa first derivative pa lang tayo. So, second prime, derivative ng 1 over square root of 2x. So, ang constant natin dito ay 1 Ang function natin ay square root of 2x. Ang derivative ng square root of 2x ay ano? Derivative ng square root ng 2x ay 1 over square root of 2x. So, kung mapapansin nyo, ang formula na gagamitin natin sa second derivative ay negative constant dv over dx all over b squared. So, substitute natin. Negative constant. Negative 1 times on dv over dx which is 1 over square root of 2x all over so ang v squared natin ay squared ng square root of 2x so mga cancel yan so ang second derivative natin so negative 1 times 1 over square root of 2x so negative 1 over square root of 2x all over so na cancel yung square root ang matitira ay 2x so, pagsamahin natin yung denominator, no? So, ang second derivative natin ay negative 1 all over 2x times square root of 2x. So, next, yung panghuli natin, yung hinahanap na third derivative. So, derivative ng negative 1 over 2x times square root of 2x. So, ganun ulit, no? So, ang derivative ng constant over a function ay negative constant times dv over dx all over p squared. So, ano yung constant natin dito? Ang constant natin dito ay negative 1. Ang function natin sa denominator ay 2x over square root of 2x. So, ang derivative nito ay product rule. So, u dv plus v du, ba? So, ang u natin dito ay 2x. Ang derivative ng 2x ay 2. Ang v natin ay square root of 2x. Ang derivative niyan ay ano? So, natandaan nyo? Ito. 1 over square root of 2x. So, 1 over square root of 2x. So, ang dv natin ay u dv. So, u 2x times derivative ng vi 1 over square root of 2x 
plus. So, yung V natin ay square root of 2x times du which is 2. Okay? So, isa-isahin natin ito. dv is equal to, so, 2x over square root of 2x para maging same denominator, times natin itong square root of 2x dito. So, 2x plus 2 square root of 2x times square root of 2x all over square root of 2x. Square root of 2x times square root of 2x, makakancel ta, di ba? Magiging 2x yan. So, yung 2x, ita times mo sa 2. So, 2x plus 2x times 2 ay 4x all over square root of 2x. So, next. So, ang dv natin dito, ang dv natin dyan ay 6x all over square root of 2x. So, ito yung dv natin, ito yung v natin, ito yung constant. So, input natin siya saan? Dito sa panghuling third derivative natin. Okay? So, third prime is equal to negative constant, so negative times negative 1, times dv over dx, which is ito, 6x over square root of 2x. All over. So, ang v squared natin, squared natin yung 2x square root of 2x. 2x times square root of 2x squared. Okay? So, ano kayo magiging final answer natin dito? Negative times negative 1, positive 1, times 6x all over square root of 2x. All over. So, ito, pag in-square mo ito, buong to, isa-isa, no? So, 2 squared, maging 4 plus x squared the square squared ng square root of 2x ay 2x no ma-cancel kasi yun so ano yung magiging sagot natin dito ma-cancel itong x di ba tsaka ito sa denominator tas yung 6 di-divide mo sa 2 magiging 3 na lang yan tas itong square root of 2x ta times mo sa 4 x squared so ang magiging final answer natin 3 itong numerator Ang denominator natin ay 4x squared times square root of 2x. So, ito yung final answer.